Hi. Okay, so today we're going to talk about optimism. And um, someone recently asked, they said, um, how do you stay optimistic when I do not see that in the world? And I'm like, okay, this is a good topic. Um, it's a good topic because one, it's timely because the world has a lot going on. Um, you know, here in Australia, we've just had the bushfires and then followed by flooding. You know, there's lots of wild things happening um, right now. And so um, how to remain optimistic through everything and yeah, and feel good about what's happening. So first, I like to define what optimism is. So optimism is that that kind of like hopefulness and um, and in my mind, it's like a big sun. It's kind of like, you know, um, it's bright and shiny. It's that it's all going to work out, that the sun will always rise again, um, that there's like this confidence in the stability of things, right? We'll go there. Um, and th the next part would be to then define why you want to cultivate this in your life. Because optimism is a habit. And if you want to change any habit, you have to have, you know, an intention about going into it. So... Um, so define for yourself why it's important to develop the habit of optimism. So it could be for you that that you're just, you know, uh, say that you're just over feeling pessimistic, say that you're just over feeling depressed and depleted and feeling like, you know, the world's going to hell in a handbasket and um, you're just, you're over that, right? Say that you just, you want to desperately believe that there is good in the world and you want to believe that, you know, it, it's all going to work out, right? Um, just really understand what your why is, like why, why it's important for you to develop optimism in your life. Um, from there, it's going to be very important that when you feel the feelings that are the opposite of optimism, so like pessimism, really, right? So pessimistic, where you're just feeling down, you're just feeling like, you know, forget everything, like just, um, when that habit pattern starts, you must interrupt it. And so it's going to take a lot of awareness. And I would suggest, you know, um, choosing you know, a, a stretch of days, like say that you chose five days. So you say that you started on a Monday and you're like, okay, from Monday to Friday, this week, every time I feel that, that I'm starting to be pessimistic, I'm going to stop that, that pattern, I'm going to interrupt that habit pattern, and I'm going to do something different, right? It's a big deal because it's a habit, right? So this is stuff that we do um, without awareness all the time. And so it's going to take a special commitment to make this happen, but it's totally doable. So when that habit pattern starts arising, um, the next thing you need to do is stop. Ideally, take some deep breaths because that always helps everything. It really does, you know, just, you know, take some deep breaths and then refocus. And refocus on, if you can, refocus on what from that moment was empowering. Okay, if that's, if that's too much of a challenge right now, that's okay. Um, just then refocus on something that feels better refocus on something that is good, right? So you are in the moment where you're like going down, 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 like with your thoughts, and then you need to stop it, and then you need to re return it around, and then go up, 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 right? So, and it can be even a small up. It can be that, you know, um, something good, you know, that, that I have, you know, the ability to stand, if, that, if you are able to do that, you know, or that, you have the ability to listen if you're able to do that. Um, you know, it go, go down to like some basic things if you're able to do these. Um, that you have food or that you have water. If you have clean water, boy. You know, I mean, this is pretty major stuff. But don't let yourself then slide into, but then so much of the world doesn't have this. Just be really grateful and appreciative of what you do have right now. So refocus to something good. And if it's not something in you physically, you can just look around and be like, okay, this light is very beautiful. I appreciate that I have light. Or um, I can see the leaves out there and um, I can see the new growth happening, even though it's autumn uh, or almost autumn. It's, you know, just, just try to find something that is, um, yeah, that, that helps 
you feel a little better. And when you're doing this habit interruption, I want you to be really curious, right? Like curious, like a three-year-old. And if you don't have a three-year-old or four-year-old or five-year-old in your life, I'll tell you what that means. So that is that everything is new and everything is some exciting possibility of something, right? And there's no wrong answers. There's no wrong answers at all. It's pretty fantastic. And it's totally status quo to be asking questions, right? And so I want you to take on that feeling, that kind of like innocence, that, that, that sense of curiosity. And I want you to take that and look at where that habit was cropping up in your life. So you might notice that, and don't judge it, no judgment, just curiosity, right? Just curious, just explore. So you might notice that you start to go into that habit loop of pessimism when you hear the news. Or you might find that you um, start that habit loop when you've been around a certain person or when you've been doing something like a specific task at work or maybe um, you find it um, in hmm, being in a certain environment. Just, just to really kind of narrow down what it is. Maybe you find it after, you know, uh, mid-morning. Maybe that really means you need a snack. <laughs> it might, you, who knows? Um, but, but really just kind of be curious and, and just be aware of where that habit is happening. Um, and then if I were you, I would try to like note this down. I mean, you can actually write this down if you are a go-getter um, or just kind of like make a mental note, be like, ah, oh, interesting. Okay, I see that I'm going into this, this habit loop of pessimism when I know that I want optimism in my life. So I'm going to, to switch that around. Um, and then I'm going to absolutely encourage conscious consumption, which basically means being very aware and very intentional about what you are consuming. And I'm not just talking about food and beverages, which we all love, but I am talking about the mental consumption. So, you know, are you spending too much time on social media? Are you watching things that aren't making you feel good? You know, if you're watching something and then it, you, you don't feel good, if you start to feel pessimistic, like, okay, you know, let, let's just be curious about it and then choose something that does feel better. Um, and, and really just being very intentional about what you are consuming because it makes a difference in your life. Um, so creating that, that awareness around what you're consuming will help out tremendously as well. Because the, the, the thing is that whatever we consume, whatever we're exposed to, those become references for us in life. And so I am a product of all of the experiences, all of the emotions, all of the, the life that I have lived, including everything I have listened to, everything I have watched, everything that I have eaten or drank or um, the atmosphere that I've been in, in, you know, all of this makes up me, right? And so what I put out and what I, I how I think is made up of this. Um, and so why not take a, you know, take an active stance in it and choose what you, uh, want to bring in, which will then definitely help with what you are outputting. Um, it's, it's a, it sounds kind of big, but it's, you know, once you start doing it and you start creating the habit of being aware of, of refocusing on something better um, it, and, and just really being very intentional about what you're bringing into your life, it becomes easier. It, it becomes easy. It becomes to where you don't have to think about it. And then when you do find yourself back in those situations, it is so obvious. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Not happening. I'm not doing this again. Right? Um, another part of optimism, because I, you know, 
yes, it can be about, you know, all of your mindset and creating your habits. And um, the next part in particular with life, all of life really, is to then see what you can control, right? So if it, if it feels like, you know, things are overwhelming and, you know, the climate, the women, the everything, there's a topic for everything, right? Um, so find, find something you can do. And that can be very simple, you know, control what you can control. And so it, you can control what you put your attention on. You can control how you use your voice. You can control your dollars um, and, and use these, right? Um, use, use these to help support the future of what you want. And so you have the power <laughs> and even just feeling empowered that, you know what, I'm going to buy this locally made item instead. Yeah, it might cost me a little bit more, but it's supporting someone in my community, right? Um, and just like really feeling that, that positive exchange, I feel, helps to build optimism because you are creating the positive change you want to see. And so, yeah. Oh, one last bit. Okay, one, this one is really important though. So it is really, really easy, especially if you spend any time on social media to like get on a bandwagon of, you know, of complaining and uh, it's so easy, right? Because social media is such a, it can be such a, an emotion stirring place. And so also with that, that habit loop, right? I would really consider what you're sharing and why you're sharing it. And if you're doing it because you really want to get a rise, consider finding another way. <laughs> if, if that isn't the case, if you, you know, um, you are feeling this stuff, but you're like, ah, what do I do with this? Then you need to like close it and then, you know, find a way to create some action, right? Sometimes that for me, that will mean that then I write a letter to my, my local um, politician you know, or then I see how I might be able to volunteer, like I volunteer to teach ethics, right? Um, and, and you can find ways to help combat the other, right? So anyway, those are my type, those are my tidbits about how to cultivate optimism in your life. And it's worth it. Gosh, it's worth it. Um, yeah, we have one life. You know, I always talk about it. So we have one life, as far as we know, we get the opportunity to restart every moment. And so if you want something to change, you can change it. Just have some awareness, be intentional, and choose what you want. All right, all love, all love.